Hi guys. Well, I already said hi. I already started the vlog. Anyways. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the stuff that I picked up at Jerry and Eagle. So, I in, instead of just going to Jerry and Eagle to get Tim's milk and going up to Walmart, I just did all of my shopping at Jerry and Eagle. I don't particularly like shopping at Jerry and Eagle for day-to-day -day stuff because it's more pricier than Walmart. But I bit the bullet, just said screw it, and went ahead and just got the stuff at Jerry and Eagle today instead of having to make multiple stops and everything. So, I'm going to show you guys all what I got. So far in the circle, I've really been liking it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update now that I've had it for about four or five days now. Um, I like it. Just some of the flavors are okay. The mixed berry that I had in it first is amazing. The raspberry is unsweetened and it was terrible i could not drink it out um, i don't particularly like raspberry but the fact that it was unsweetened as well it just did not go well with me um, i took one sip out of it and took the cartridge out and gave it to tim i was like i'm done i don't want it <laughs> um then i had white cherry in it that's okay it's not great to me again i don't like cherry um, a lot of flavors I don't particularly like, but I, w I got them because I wanted to try them. The white cherry, would I buy it again? Sure. Is it my favorite? No, but it gives me that bit of variety to go through. The raspberry, I would never buy again. The blue or the mixed berry, I plan on buying multiple of those in my next order. This one, I believe, is the raspberry lemonade, and so far it's not bad um the flavor on four was not it was pretty much just lemonade i didn't get any of the raspberry flavor but on five it's it's much better and i drink so much more water with these um i drink about two to three bottles of these a day and these are about 20 ounce i think um, so I drink a lot of water that I don't normally drink. Should I be drinking more? Yes. But, um, I used to be drinking four to five cans of pop a day and now I have between one and two. I haven't had a monster energy for, I think since last Thursday when we got these bottles. I might have had one Thursday morning. But I didn't have any Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today, or Monday, or today. That's five days that I haven't had a monster. And I have them out there. So, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I, Tim said he's not sure if he's going to order more of the sips when his run out. I definitely will. Because, like I said, he drinks plain water in and of itself all day, every day. I can't. It. And the only reason I'm still having as uh, like one to two pops a day is because if I wake up and drink water, I get nauseous. Um, like Sunday morning when we were coming back from our trip, I didn't have any pop. I didn't take any pop with us. Um, I woke up and took a drink of water and everything to obviously get my pills down and everything. Um, and about 10 minutes later, I got really nauseous. I was nauseous the entire way home. Um, and honestly, the entire day I was feeling nauseous up until I had a little bit of pop. Um, I don't know what it is. If I don't have something other than water when I first get up, I'm nauseous like all day until I do. Um, but once I have like a couple sips of my pop, I could sit there and drink this entire bottle of water, no problem. Um, I just can't just have just straight water. I don't know. Does anyone else get that way? And that's how I am. I get really nauseous if I just drink straight water, um, flavored or not. <laughs> but a few things I picked up. I needed some more toilet bowl cleaner, so I got this stuff. It's Lysol Lime and Rust um, because our water gets pretty rusty. It gets pretty gross, and our toilet stains. Um, so I picked this up that to try. I think this was like $2.99 or something. I think this was $3.99 or something like that. But this is Kitchen Pro Antibacterial Cleaner. 
Um, I got this to wipe down the sinks at the end of the day. Um, the toaster, the coffee pot, the even like the counters, I think I could use this on. Um, the, use this product to clean counters, sinks, stove tops, cabinets, appliance, exteriors. So I can wipe down the coffee pot, the toaster. Um, after I use the stainless steel cleaner on the stove and the fridge and stuff, I could use this after to just kind of antibacterialize it. Um, and I've been keeping all of my bags for my craft show that I plan to go to. I got Ella a decent sized thing of Pringles. Saw these and I wanted to try it. They're new, they're cornbread swirls. So they're like little muffins, I think, but they're cornbread and I love cornbread. I got some blueberry bagels for breakfast. Tim doesn't like bagels, but I do, and I'm sure Ella does. Um, then I got this because this was, it was calling my name the last time I was at Giant Eagle, but it's chocolate chunk edible cookie dough. Um, it's about a half a pound. Um, I just, it looks delicious. So I'm gonna indulge in that later. That was 280, it's 6.99 a pound, but I got about half a pound. Um, it's actually 0.4, but close enough. Um, I picked up two boxes of the ZD Marilla pasta for dinner in a few days. A thing of Sloppy Joe mix because I'm making Sloppy Joes for dinner tonight. Picked up Tim for these um, Raymond noodles, the creamy chicken. He likes the creamy chicken and I have not been able to get them at Walmart in months. So I found them at Giant Eagle and they were on sale for $25 a piece as opposed to I think 29 or something like that. So I just went ahead and got four to make a dollar. Then I saw this. Um, I've never seen the beef ramen in the like bowl like this. Um, so I got this to try as well. Um, I like the beef ramen. I normally get the packs and I end up messing it up because I'm not good at making ramen. <laughs> then I got two of these, the Pioneer Woman four cheese pasta sauce, um, because with the ziti, pa ziti pasta and stuff, I plan to make baked ziti. Um, I got Tim his almond breeze, almond milk blended with real bananas. Um, this is one he was interested in trying. And then they also have one, um, it's almond milk with a bit of honey in it. Um, but he wanted to try this one first, so I grabbed that. Um, but Giant Eagle does have his milk. I don't know why no other stores have it, but Giant Eagle has it. So I'm just going to have to get it from there from now on. Um, grabbed a pack of hamburger buns because obviously Sloppy Joe's, you need the burger buns. Then I grabbed this bread. Um, I'm hoping Ella will like it. It's strawberry swirl, Pepperidge Farm bread. Um, uh, I'm hoping she likes it give her something a little different to try instead of just plain straight bread because the girl loves her bread it's ridiculous um and then i got tim two of the unsweetened almond coconut milk this is what i cannot find at walmart anymore i can't find it at walmart at target at dollar general um i tried a couple of other stores i believe and none of them had this even walmart didn't have the stuff with the bananas but they did not have this anymore. They quit carrying it at Walmart. I don't know why. We used to buy like six of these a month um, because Tim absolutely loved it. Um, but uh, it's the Almond Breeze Almond Coconut Blend. And it's he doesn't like the almond coconut silk. He doesn't like, he doesn't really care for straight almond milk and he doesn't really care for straight coconut milk. He likes the blend flavor. Then I stopped at Joann's, right? Stopped at Joann's. Bought a reusable bag and she didn't use it. What? <laughs> um, and I told her that I would just rather have everything in the reusable bag and she's like well I've already got everything in this other bag and I can't just take it out I'm like okay whatever um, and I got a lot of goodies at Joann's so I got this glitter 
Um, it's a like burnt orange color. Um, and that was, oh, I got coupons. Um, let's see here. The glitter was four forty. No, no. Wait, what? Why does it have a star? Four forty nine. Oh, okay. The glitter was. Wait, wait. It was. 224, it was on sale. It was originally 449. This receipt is confusing the bejesus out of me. Um, and I got another one of these silicone mats from like for resin stuff I can put underneath my cup turners or even I like to set my molds on these. So if they were to spill out like over, it's not gonna get all over my table. This was originally 599. I ended up paying 449 for it. This bag here was a dollar fifty nine um then I got these cow buttons and they were three ninety nine all the buttons were what's up princess you gonna play with your magnets okay do you need help opening it here I was just helping opening it. Okay. You do you, sis. Um, and then these ones were $4.99 each. Um, I got Aladdin. Which it's got Jasmine, Aladdin, Genie, and the Magic Carpet. Ella, what's the matter? If you want it open, then open it. I had the magnets unbuttoned and then she rebuttoned them. Um, I got Beauty and the Beast, which has Belle um like a chandelier i think beast and a rose i don't know if beast is holding the rose what does it matter use your words play with your magnets honey go ahead i'm showing everyone what we picked up at the store okay Um, but here's the Beauty and the Beast ones. And I got some little mermaid. It's got two aerials, a Sebastian and a flounder. Yeah. Got Monsters Inc. It's got Boo, Mike, Sully, and then two of the doors. In the back there behind Sully, if it'll focus. Ella Ray, you need to chill. Um, and then I got Nightmare Before Christmas. This has Zero, Jack, Sally, um, and then two of like Jack Skellington's face. I got some spiders. There's orange, green, black, and purple in here. These ones were $3.99. These ones were five or four ninety nine. It's got a baby Minnie, baby Mickey, baby Donald, baby Daisy, and then it's got four little hearts in there too that correspond correspond with each person. And then I also got some crayons. There's yellow, orange, green, purple, blue, and red. Um, these were three ninety nine. Um, I got these all to put in resin. So. Some of these do have the like button loop and I'm just gonna cut those off. Um, and then there's some, let me see, like these spiders, they don't have the buttons. I don't know, they're just the flat backs is what, they're, what they are. Um, but all of the characters have the like hooks, the cows have the hooks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the hooks off. That's no problem. Um, but I spent a pretty penny at Joann's. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything that we picked up. I did pick up Tim's Amazon package, which is over on the counter 
or the table, chair, whatever. Um, I'm going to scan my receipts with Fetch and I've just started doing that again recently. Um, I got really bad with it and just stopped doing it altogether at the end of last year and I just haven't done it this year. So I started doing it again, started getting some more points. I have I think 3,050 or something like that now. Um, let, me, let me check actually real quick before I scan anything. So right now in Fetch, I have 3,055 points. Um, you can get more points back on certain brands and stuff, but I'm just gonna scan my receipt because every receipt at least gives you, I think, 25 points. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan my receipt. If you guys want my referral code, um, we both get points. So, um, it says get 2,000 points for every friend you refer. Your friend will also get 2,000 points when they scan their first receipt. So you scan your first receipt, you'll automatically get 2,000 points plus whatever the receipt points get. Um, so you at least get like 2,025 or something. Um, so what's the matter? My referral code is V F E Y F. Um, this way you guys, if you wanted to sign up, I got to figure out what my daughter's problem is right now and then get everything put away, clean up a little bit and hopefully be able to get some resin stuff done. Also a giant eagle. I picked up three 12 packs of diet Pepsi back here. Um, and I just scanned my giant eagle receipt. Um, and you guys can see I spent $59.92. And I actually got a lot of points for this receipt. So with my McDonald's receipt and my Joanne's receipt, I got 25 points per receipt. So there's 50 points there. Giant Eagle, I earned 213 points from them. So each each pack of Diet Pepsi, I earned 62 points on. Um, so 62 times three. And then I also, for Pillsbury Strudel, oh, the, Pillsbury cornbread thing here. Um, I earned 24 points on this. Um, so yeah, it says you can earn more on a Tropicana, Tostitos, Gogurt, Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi, and everything like that. And then it gives you your receipt breakdown, but for Giant Eagle, I earned 213 points, if it will focus here. 213 and then you guys can see 62 points for each diet Pepsi and then the 24 points for the Pillsbury strudel um, So yeah and I now have 3318 points and let's literally just for scanning your receipts. This is not sponsored. However, I wish I Wish I was sponsored by them, but I'm not um, But yeah, so it's an easy way to earn money. And then if I wanted to, I can get Amazon gift cards. Um, they have all kinds of different gift cards that you can redeem for. And I'm all for free money. Um, especially, I'm hoping if I can keep doing this, I can order more resin molds to have more supplies at my craft show. So, um, that's exciting. But the main reason I had stopped at Joann's in the first place today is because I was going to get um, a Cricut carry bag so that when I go to my craft show, I can take my Cricut and everything like that. However, <sighs> that not gonna happen. Um, well, not that bag anyways. They wanted $100 for a bag. I looked on Amazon, I found one for $20. Tim gave me the genius idea, I don't know why I didn't use this to begin with, to use my old gym bag from my Flagline group. It has my name and an M on it and everything. Um, so I know it's mine and genius. Um, so that's what I'm gonna end up using. I gotta dig it out and get it all cleaned up and everything. I think it's in our old suitcase up in the attic. But that is genius. Tim said to use a gym bag, and I'm like, my flagline bag. Um, he's like, I don't know why I didn't think of it. It looks just like a gym bag. I was like, because my brain's not working. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this stuff all put away and I will catch you guys back in a bit. <laughs> this bowl was pretty much full of Ella's Cheerios and that's all that's left. That's what she actually requested for dinner. Um, she came up to me. She's asleep. But she came up to me and said, Mama, cereal? Mama, Cheerios? Oh, I forgot to give her her George and her dinosaur. Oh, that makes me sad. Um, but she went and ate her cereal and stuff. And she ate a lot of it, honestly. Um, she did good. Um, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I was working on Etsy stuff last night or today, um, not last night, today. Um, and those, of course, floated to the surface like buttholes. Um, but I opened up my new epoxy today. Got, hopefully, the final coat of epoxy on this cup. I have this going, which I'm excited. Um, I'm hoping to turn this into like a beach base make it look like beaches and waves and stuff um but there's little seashells down inside the rim this has it's a funky design ashtray um like real funky let me see if i can't show you guys like the bottom design real quick you guys can see it's like that weird like geometrical shape um, and it has these pastel M&Ms in it, and then this has the Little Mermaid, so you can see there's, oh, Flanders upside down, how did Flander get, oh, no, they're all upside down, <laughs> um, but there's Flounder, there's one Ariel, Sebastian here, um, and then there's another Ariel over here. And there were some seashells down in it, but you guys can see they just kind of floated to the surface there. I'm gonna add some more blue on top of this after if this is cured. Um, this is clear down at the base and then it's got the blue over top. Um, and then this is gonna get some more epoxy hopefully tonight. I can put some on after this is kind of cured just to keep them the layers separate. Um, but I mixed one of these up and this is one cup of epoxy that I mixed so there's a lot of epoxy in there um, but I used it all I did the cup the two and a half um, or you know the half turtle the three quarters of the little mermaid round ashtray and then the other one is completely done um, I plan on making domino sets. Um, I have all of these that I need to get painted and put onto the badge reels, like this one. Um, and just prep, prep, prep for my craft show. So, I'm really excited. I cannot wait for July. I'm hoping Tim can get the like main day off so that he can watch Ella at my brother-in-law's house with my nephew. Um, and so it'll be my brother-in-law, Tim, Ella, and my nephew, Crixus. Um, they can all be up at the house, which is like a five minute walk from the park, which is where I will be set up. And then my sister-in-law is gonna come down and help me. Um, that's the plan, hopefully it works out. Um, I'm gonna get this sunroom picked up just a little bit because it's not bad. But she knocked all of her stuffed animals down, so I gotta get those picked up. Um, and then I'm gonna go out, start the mashed potatoes, start the sloppy joes. They don't go together, but Tim loves mashed potatoes, so I figured I would surprise him with mashed potatoes. Um, get those cooking, and then come back here and do more resin stuff, hopefully before he starts playing his new Resident Evil game, so. Alright, so real quick, I got that, I think that was like that, I don't remember. I got that completely finished. I got that going, which that kind of looks cool. Um, I have little 
ice cubes going for a project I have coming on Friday and then I have this that's finished so I don't know I think they're gonna turn out pretty cute this one real quick you guys can see all the m &Ms in it now the resin is set enough that I can flip them over but yeah yay I will show you guys these in tomorrow's vlog once I get them demolded so I'm so excited <laughs> I love getting crafty with different things this is the one I'm most eager for so 